Handwriting. Handwriting, by definition, means a person's particular style of writing. Particular being a synonym of the word distinct tells us that handwriting was never meant to be the same among us people. Now that's something that I want to tell all of my elementary teachers because when I was in the first grade, I was given my first ever cursive workbook and I absolutely hated it. Why? Well, because this is how my handwriting looks like today. As you can pretty much conclude, those books didn't really last very long, nor did they help me at all. Because you see, even as a child, I couldn't stand perfection. Good point. I couldn't stand perfection. I hated the fact that I was supposed to be the exact same person as everyone else in order for me to be understood. You know what? Take a moment and imagine if everyone in this room right now had the exact same personality as you. How would you feel? Out of the 50 people that I personally asked, 98% of them said they would absolutely hate it. Because you see, if everyone was to be quite literally the exact same, there would be no contrast to our days, no vibrancy, no encouragement, no reason to even try living. Also, how would we be able to spot our leaders, our artists? How would we know what is right and what is wrong if everyone had the exact same perspective? Let us recall the fact that every single child is brought into this world being completely different from another. From the way they look, to the way they speak, to the way they cry, some of them even breathe differently. Yet we, however, still happen to have the audacity to force and to conform them to a certain standard. Being anonymous to the fact that our writing is pretty much like the backbone of our personality. And have any of you heard of graphology? No? Okay, well maybe you heard it simply as handwriting analysis. And what I want all of you to do right now is to write down, my name is, in lowercase letters, followed by your name and signature beneath it. So go on. All right, so you guys are done? Okay, so let's move on. Do your words slant. If they do not, you are said to be rather practical and quite good at hiding your emotions. However, if they do slant, is it towards the left or the right? If it is towards the right, then you really like making new friends and enjoy good conversations. However, if it is towards the left side, then you're better off left alone, because it's the left side, so you know. Next comes the size of your writing. And personally, I have been told that my handwriting happens to be rather small. Well, here's something from us small writers. It is because we actually are able to focus more and also we're able to concentrate for longer periods of time as compared to those people who have handwritings that stick out more to the human eye. Next, if you have a, let's say, medium-sized writing, then you are well adapted and adjustable. However, if you have those huge, ginormous writings that my teachers constantly go on and on and on and on comparing me with, then you own big and open personalities, just like your writing. Now, coming up is spaces. But you know, actually, I have a pun about space, but I'm going to be needing a little longer to plan it. Get it? Space, plan it. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so if your words look like they're in a fight with each other and they're just the space between them is absolutely huge, then you're more of a freedom type of person and absolutely hate the claustrophobic feeling. However, if your words look like two inseparable peas in a pod, then you pretty much can't function properly while on your own. And also, you also happen to be the type of person who, let's say, you know, you fail to mind your own business, making you an intruder. Right, so you see, it's all these little specks of ink, the slashes, the spaces, the size, and everything really. Just a little thing that has the ability to alter your personality. Coming up, lastly, is our signature. And remember when we were younger, and you know, we'd come up with these cool signatures, the one with letters and hearts and circles, in order for everyone else to think that we're cool? Yeah, well, that's exactly what your signature stands for. Your signature is how you want the world to view you. 
So if you have a legible signature, then that marks you as a confident and that you have comfort in your own skin. However, if your signature is not is illegible, then you're, it pretty much marks you as a private and hard to read type of person. And also, if your signature happens to be larger than your normal handwriting, you happen to be the kind of person who has two or maybe even more personalities, and you project yourself rather differently when out in public. So you see, everything really, just if you think about it, when you put all of these things together, that's what defines you. And just again, I'm going to say this, that all these little, little details, you know, these spaces, the lines, the size, and there are so much more that has the ability to metamorphose or transform the element of you from yourself. And if you happen to have, or you happen to possess, the style of writing that we were learned, that we were learning back then, then take a moment and imagine if you didn't have that style of writing, how would you have been like today? What all would you have achieved? Think of all the people in your life, where you would have been of, and how would you have been like today? And maybe after today, you may want, or maybe just have a tad bit of inspiration to change yourself in, your, in hopes of changing your life, but I wouldn't recommend you to do so. Because, again, your handwriting, it changing even slightly, still has the ability to change you. And we should always remember to be ourselves, no matter whoever stops us, you should always be yourself. Like me right now, I have a mic. I can say absolutely anything. No one can stop me. Well, not right now. But that's the point. I am myself, and so should you. This has been Mubina Tazarjani. Thank you for allowing me to drown you into the world of pens, papers, and puns. <laughs>